Oh God. Uh -oh. I give up. Yeah. I'm gonna go help my friend Thomas, you know Thomas the Magician. He's doing this whole thing over at the St. Pete Skate Park. Not sure what to expect. However, I'm a fan of magic. Right off the bat, if you did not see the reel that I just posted on our Facebook page, you might wanna go check that out. Um, probably not what you wanna see. Not what I expect, it might haunt your dreams is what I'm trying to say, but it's, I like it. It's a classic. All right, so Thomas, quick, quick little run through. Definitely go to supermagicbros.com. We're gonna be doing some really cool stuff. We're launching on April 1st. Not a joke. I'm not gonna give anything too much away. Just go there, check it out. It's gonna be really fucking sweet. This is actually really cool. Okay, the Tropicana Fields is right over there. And this is actually the park that Al and I came to a long time ago. But there's a bunch of playgrounds, so we'll have to bring Remy here next time. Oh, I'm rooting for him. <laughs> I'm rooting. <laughs> He landed it. It was behind the, it was right behind this, but so just you should have saw it. You should have saw it. It was this amazing trick. You just couldn't see it. Just <laughs> yeah. trust me. It was there. It was definitely there. The last time I was at a park was when I was with Roman. Remember we were doing those? Oh, by the way, I did shave my beard. I was at the, the bowl and we were doing those little drift board, drift cars, whatever they were, and we pretty much almost killed each other. <laughs> oh god. Uh -oh. I give up. Yeah. And then you turn. Excuse the language. Alright. That's not as bad as I thought it would be. Oh, <laughs> See? It was fun. I wanted one of those things for the longest time. Probably good that I didn't get one. <laughs> it goes all the way over here. You can just transfer over to that. How long have I been living here and I didn't know this thing existed? This is awesome. So after this, I'm gonna go pick up some things that I got for Allie's uh, uh, anniversary present. I think she's gonna like it. I think it's really cool. Yeah, I probably should have to show you guys tomorrow. So that way, Allie, if she's helping with the vlog today, that she uh, doesn't see it. <laughs> yeah, I don't think any of it works. <laughs> Oh, no, it What's up, friends? Today on Super Magic Bros, we're going to be doing something pretty crazy. We're going to be trying to skateboard blindfold. For over a century, blindfolds have played an integral part of magic. But you normally see them with these thin, little, tiny blindfolds like this. You can sort of see out the bottom, see out the sides. We're not going to be doing any of that. Today, we've got a full face blindfold gonna be covering up I mean look at this look at the size of this thing. I have a massive head and this thing could probably fit two of them in there. Go right ahead and smash that like button. I already posted it up. It's all good. You're good. <laughs> it's uh what is it? Uh, hit that subscribe button and then uh Yep. I have to call it for today. I thought the rain wouldn't like be here, but look at this. It uh yeah it's gonna hit soon. This weather hates us. For real. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately we had a little bit of a rain delay, so make sure you guys go check it out now and bookmark it and subscribe and everything so when it does go live, actually, I'll probably come back and help them the next time when it's not raining. I think she's gonna like it. I'm pretty pumped about it. It's simple. It, actually, it's from Remy and I, I should say. Mainly Remy. <laughs> I stole it out of her piggy bank. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> she's got a ton of money in that piggy bank, though. Basically, she started her own college fund. <laughs> probably already seen. Charles is off doing something super cool with our friend Thomas. And I decided to stay back because our backyard was so like filled with pollen and leaves and everything like that. And it's actually, I think we're about to have a pretty crazy storm. I know you guys are gonna be like, this is so stupid. You're absolutely right it is, but this is crazy. Um, our little pool cleaner is getting fixed. And it's just, this is from a day and a half of not having it. I know yesterday was like, a super vlog filled day. There was like a bazillion that you had to watch, but if you did watch them all, thank you so much. You guys are amazing. Um, and if you have not watched them yet, we'll probably put them in the description below. Also on my vlog, a lot of people were like, wait a second, where's the link to these items that you mentioned? I put them in there. I was having a little bit of trouble getting the, don't ask. They're up, they're on my channel. But um, we're gonna start linking a lot of these like cool stuff that we use throughout the house. A lot of cool things that we found. I've noticed I do that a lot now with a lot of people that I watch or I follow. I'm like, oh, that looks kind of cool. I'm gonna check that out. Or, oh, I really like that. That would be great for Remy. And I'm like, why the heck are we not doing it for you guys? 
some of it's really stupid, but I'll, I feel like I find some that, like for instance, I there's this toilet paper that I use now that I didn't actually find from a viewer, or I'm sorry, I didn't find from somebody that I watch. I found it in Target and it's, this is stupid, it's toilet paper, but I just like what kind of toilet paper it is. And it's like the, it's made out of different materials than just trees and it's all about, you know, trying to be more sustainable. I sound like an idiot. We're gonna try and create this Amazon list for you guys so you can go and check that stuff out. We do have a future trip that we are planning with the RV that I'm really excited about. We're gonna do a different area than we've ever been to. And we're going to hopefully do it earlier in the summer or springtime than we typically do, which is really like late in the summer, like July, August, uh, because Char has a lot of tours coming up. Are you taking pictures of yourself? So cute. So stay tuned for that. I'm gonna be super productive and have a lot of wonderful things this year to kind of incorporate into the vlog and then incorporate into real life. And you know, obviously we love bringing you guys. The only thing with these shoes is like I scuff all the time and it sounds like I'm farting. Not farting, I promise. All right, got half of it. Now I gotta get to Melissa's house because she has wrapping paper and I can't do that at the house. Plus, I'm gonna have her do it because I don't know how to wrap anything. I was thinking about just putting it in a little bit. I gotta do something better than that. Alright, let's see. There's the other half. Can you say hello when you got some rain droplets on your head? Diesel's the one who loves to go outside when it rains and walk around and just stand there. He's like, look at me. I'm hands all wet and now they're all furries, Diesel. What are you doing? No! Ah! It's getting! Just kidding. Other just kind of kept us from doing anything outside, which is I mean, I did do, I did, I was productive earlier. I was productive. I got a lot of the pollen out of our backyard and the leaves up. Not that it even matters because I just keep falling. I just got off the phone with my best friend, Shelly, and we were, this is how adult I feel like we are now. We are talking about paint colors for our house. Can you imagine, like, this, this would be our life. I, I say this so often, but it's just so funny growing up in your teens, in your early 20s, you're like, I'm, I will never do that, or oh, I'm never gonna say that, or oh, I'm never gonna talk like that, and then the next thing you know, that's exactly what your life is. But I wouldn't change it for the world. Because as much as I dreaded growing older, like, I love it so much. I have such a different appreciation for so many things that I was so afraid of in regards to getting older, and now that I'm like in the middle of those experiences, I'm like, this is actually not that bad. It's actually kind of cool. And I get to make all these choices and I get to do all these things that I was very much afraid of doing, but I get to make those decisions. Go back out in the rain. Okay, see you later. Have a nice day. He misses it Zoe so much. He's gonna go outside. He misses his bud. Go play in the rain. That's why I'm like thankful about the fact that I'm gonna bring him to my, I'm bring, gonna bring him to my mom's. I just think he needs a little animal interaction. I actually saw somebody in the US if we were considering getting a new, another dog. You know, Charles and I talked about it and we're definitely not ready to get another dog, especially because of, I don't know, I think we're just not over Zoe and we have Diesel and I don't want Diesel to feel neglected. Like that's my big thing is that I don't want Diesel to feel like we're replacing him, which I don't know if that would even be that way. Come here, buddy. Gosh, do you remember his face used to be so like, it was not, never this white. You know, Charles and I talked about getting another dog just briefly, like very, very briefly. But, you know, Char had even said to me, he's like, I just don't know if I could get another dog for a really long time because, you know, they they are your family. And, and we still have Diesel, obviously, and, you know, he's such a big part of our life and I love him so much. I'm so lucky that he's here. We're so lucky that he's here. I just don't think we're mentally at that stage right now where we want to bring another dog into the house. You know, we, we're still mourning Zoe and we're still, just, we're just not ready for that. We're not ready for that. So since we're not getting a dog, you know, we, we could diesel out all the time. We still, he still gets just as much attention as he used to, if not more probably now. He's, he's definitely eating like a king. I think that getting another dog just, it's, I don't know. We've thought about it, but it's just maybe not on the agenda right now. Bringing him to my mom's, letting him be around her pups that she, he gets along with so well. Uh, Lola, who's about his age, and Max, who's a little bit younger, I think really helps him and kind of like lifts his spirits if he's a little bit down. And I'm just so lucky that she's like right down the road from us. Yeah. Ready? Wally's yeah, back. He's back. Back, back, back. Wally's back. Gotta go back to work. Wally's back. 
back, back to clean our pool. Pool, pool. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Right. Guess who's back? Do you want mommy Guess to keep singing? Back? Well, he is. Mm, mm, Rem, mm, do you want mommy to keep singing mm, or no? Mm. Switch it out. <laughs> Did you say I got rid of all the leaves and all the pollen? No. Even on the side? Wait, you got rid of them? And it just came back? No, it just came back. But I got rid of all the leaves that were there and there and on the side. You want to be a kitty? Yeah. Yes, you are. Are you hanging out together? Yeah. Here you go. You guys are so cute. This reminds me of when I had all those play balls in there and I spent like hours trying to get them out. Remy, you want this? No. You yeah, sure? Want to see it? Uh oh. Sure you don't want it? No. It looks want, like hair. Want to touch it? It's the pollen. <laughs> it's squishy. Before right. the pool. Look how satisfying and that's going to be. Already... Look at that. Go, Wally, go. Go Wally, go Wally, suck it up. Go Wally, go Wally, go, go, go Wally. Ooh, it's getting cold, I like it. It's back? Yeah. You like the beard or no beard? You don't, you like that having a beard? No. Do you want me to grow it back? Yeah. Okay. What do you guys think? Remy says to grow it back. Mommy says to grow it back.